Hello everyone, my name is Allie and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I wanted to talk about something awesome and that is the documentary Bigger Than Me by James Chats. The reason I want to talk about this documentary is because it's all about fandoms and a bunch of YouTubers that I love and inspire me are in the video and it was just insanely awesome and I want to talk about it. As soon as I saw the name of the documentary and got the concept and saw who was going to be in it, it appealed to me and I had to watch it. And I don't regret clicking on that video and watching all 43 minutes of it whatsoever. When I started it and was watching it, I knew that I was going to love it. I couldn't predict how insanely inspirational it ended up being to me. And it's because I'm, I'm watching these people that I love and that I watch on YouTube all the time and they're talking about the same things that I love and I'm passionate about and they made their whole careers off of that. Like, that's so... I can't even function. It's so amazing. I, I'm watching these people and they're talking about these things that I'm passionate about and that they're passionate about and these fandoms that I'm a part of and these fandoms have shaped me and they mean so much to me and that sounds really weird to some people I know but then there's other people that get it and that's something that really was uh, talked about in the video too that it's a community like fandoms and being passionate about shows and movies and books that's like a whole different culture and it's like second nature to some people including me and that's why I wanted to talk about it it's just amazing I keep saying that but it just is like, I would not be me without my first memories being of Disney, or I wouldn't be me without Doctor Who being there for me after, like, the hardest year of my life, or just Harry Potter completely shaping me in every single way that it possibly could. I grew up not girly whatsoever. I grew up with brothers, so I grew up with superheroes and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and... Star Wars and stuff like that, that's what was I was surrounded by. That was what was always... Uh, around me and that has such a big influence on me and sometimes I almost feel like uh, people don't completely get that. A lot of people that they don't know me or they don't know me really well they're just like oh well you know she's just nerdy she just likes these things or even worse people who really don't know me they're just like you're a girl you don't understand what you're talking about and I hate that I really really hate that it's the, my biggest pet peeve probably because of my brothers I had a giant Superman poster above my bed when I was like seven and I drank out of a cup with Luke Skywalker on it like no I don't just say these things because I want to be known for it I say it because it's true it's in my nature Disney and Marvel and all these other things it's like in my veins it's I feel like if you cut me open I bleed Disney characters because they're just so important to me all this stuff is so important to me and I grew up around people that didn't understand that whatsoever I didn't have a lot of friends that got that I was passionate about things you know at least not about those things and I mean I've drawn fan art and wrote fan fiction longer than I realized what it actually was I mean, I've based school projects and school uh, assignments off of the things that I watch and the things that I read. Uh, in particular, like, my entire 11th grade year, me and my best friend Michaela made everything Doctor Who related. Like, everything that you could imagine, we made it somehow related to Doctor Who. So, I got, I got lucky with having friends that eventually did get into the same things that I did or understood the things that I did. And also I got lucky because I found the internet. And that sounds kind of stupid and maybe even dorky, but it's not. It's not to a lot of people. The internet is this almost like imaginary playground where a million people that like the same things that you do interact with you and they look at the things you make and you look at the things they make and you talk and you make friendships because of things you're passionate about and that's automatically the some of the best friendships that you will probably ever have I don't even think I could put into words all this stuff before I just knew that I was passionate about these things and I found love for them and wanted to build off of them and then after watching bigger than me it kind of cemented all these ideas and all these things that I already felt and there were points where these youtubers that I love would say something and it would actually make me tear up because it just made so much sense to me I've never been this person that had the idea that I was going to work behind a desk or anything simple. I knew that I wanted to create. I wanted to make things. I wanted to see things in a creative perspective my whole life. And I never truly realized that I could build off of the things that I love and watch and read 
until I found Tumblr and YouTube and saw people actually doing it. It's just inspiring to see people that are from small places in the world move to bigger places and make things that are related to what they love. And that's inspiring to me because where I live, I feel misplaced and small and odd man out because of these things. But there's something more out there and there's something that I can do. It's like eye-opening. It's like really sitting there and realizing that you aren't in some sort of cage from where you live. It's broader. It's There's more to the world. There's things that you can do and you can accomplish if you just get in the mindset that you don't have to stay put. Um, it's kind of hard, especially if you live somewhere small like I do, because there's places that I need to go. Like, I've never been to Disney World, and I'm talking to you about how much I love Disney and how it's my first memories, and that it's easily the biggest thing and biggest inspiration to me that I can think of. And I've never even been there. I've never gotten to experience all that, and I'm almost, I'm, I'm 19 years old, and I just know that if I, when I finally go, I'm going to cry, and it's going to be like I'm seven or even younger than that, because it's going to be magical. And speaking of magical, you know, Harry Potter has been so big to me too, and I've never been to the wizarding world of Harry Potter. All these things that are on my bucket list are nerdy, and that's... <laughs> it can get made fun of by people all at once, but then I have people out there that do understand me. Like, the top three things on my bucket list are to go to Comic-Con, Disney World, and the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Like, it's, it's where I want to be. Like, those are the three places I need to see for myself and experience. Like, I can tell you without blinking, when I finally make it to these three places, it's going to feel like an accomplishment to me. It's going to feel like I've done something incredible, and I will be brought to tears, and it will probably be embarrassing, but I don't care. These things, these movies, these shows, these books, they're the biggest part of me. And I don't even think I realized that, like I said before. I knew, but I didn't know. And after watching that documentary, I realized that they really are. And that I don't know who I'd be without them. They're part of me. They're part of me. My heart, my soul, my brain. I mean, everything I do, it's got to be something related to reading and writing and watching these shows and movies and being involved in uh, that world. Fandoms are adventure and love and passion and so much more. They're so much more than what people think that they are. You know, people just think it's a bunch of people that like the same thing being weird about it, but it's not. It's seriously a culture. It's something that brings so many people together, and I never realized how amazing that is. I cannot stop saying the word amazing. It's like no other word is coming to me about this experience and this documentary and these things that I'm thinking about. It's just amazing. I've never been the type of person that uh, goes with a crowd of people whatsoever. I've kind of been a loner and then I got lucky, like I said, to have my friends that I can share things with and these things that uh, changed my life and I like to see that they changed not only my friends but other people out there in the world. Like. I love these characters the same way that somebody in three countries over loves these characters or these stories and that's wow. Like James said and the whole reason that the documentary was made is that these things are bigger than me, they're bigger than us and just because the stories may not be real, the effect that they have on people is. Yeah, it's all written down on a page or it's all seen in a screen, but they feel real. It feels authentic and beautiful and it means the world to so many people. I am blessed beyond belief with the way that things have shaped me and affected me. And I love that I know that a million people out there are the same way and that's just amazing. There we go again. Amazing. Incredible. Stupendous. Fantastic. So in conclusion, if you haven't seen the documentary and you would like to, it's called Bigger Than Me by James Chats and I will put the link down below. Also, if you like the YouTubers in it, please watch them because I love them and I hope that you will too. Also, comment down below any fandoms that you're a part of that I may have mentioned or I haven't because I just want to know, so do that. Also, don't for one second think that's the end of me talking about any of those things because it's definitely not.